welcome to the instructor your art room. Muhumza Jafet is my name. And today we are going to look at printing in fabric decoration. The objective of the lesson, um, you should be able to define fabric printing, uh, the methods of printing, and then to explain the steps of making a motif. This is what you should go away with. What is printing? Printing is a process of applying color to fabric in definite patterns or designs. As we earlier said that uh, printing is uh, a technique or a method of decorating fabrics or textiles and here we're saying that we apply color in definite patterns to the fabric meaning that there are there are things that we use to help us not apply color everywhere on a fabric methods of fabric printing uh, we have three methods and one is a uh, stencil printing uh, we shall explain more about this uh, in our next slide we also have screen printing we also have block printing now let us start with the very first one stencil printing uh, in this method or technique of printing we transfer designs to the surface by cutting shapes or patterns in a stencil and printing it on another fabric with ink through the open areas of the stencil. Just like you are seeing on, um, uh, on the picture here on the screen, you can see that um, somebody had an inspiration as a dolphin and then went ahead and drew it on uh, as a, a, a piece of paper and then that piece of paper was um, I mean the image was transferred to the stencil how do we transfer the image to the stencil you get a piece of paper and you, you staple a stencil on top of the piece of paper then use a cutter follow the outlines of your source of inspiration in this case the dolphin and cut out that, that uh, image or object and then after you take the stencil to your fabric or textile that you want to print on and then use a sponge to apply ink through the, the open area of the stencil onto the fabric that is stencil printing we are using a stencil to apply textures, designs, images onto a fabric. Then we also have another method as block printing. And just like you are hearing the word block printing, here we use a block to, to apply or to stamp on a fabric to create different meaningful patterns. And um, what do we do? You get your motif that you want to put on a cloth, to print on a cloth, then after getting it, you transfer it onto soft wood, or you can transfer it to rubber or rhinoleum cloth. Now, after you have transferred that image there, then you get your cutters and cut out the positives, or you can also cut out the negatives. After you have done that, you get your ink, that is the printing ink, and use um, a roller, you roll over your, your block, the side that has uh, the, the motif, and then after you have rolled um, the ink on top of the side that has a motif, then you can go ahead and stamp uh, that, that block onto the fabric. When you are stamping, you are creating those designs onto the fabric. And here, when you are reading through this, you realize that uh, 
after you have dipped the, the log, then you go ahead and stamp the ground, what you are calling the, the, mod, uh, the textile or the fabric that is to be patterned, and then you come up with your artwork. Then we also have uh, screen printing. And in screen printing, you can clearly know, uh, see here that you need a screen. You need a screen, you need a um, photo emulsion, you need a mesh, you need a squeegee, and you need ink. Now, how do we do screen printing? We need to first start by making a screen. And the screen is comprised of a wooden frame and a stretched mesh. And this mesh is like a cloth, but this cloth has got tiny holes that are in, in it. And now those tiny holes, we use photo emulsion or a light sensitive liquid to bind and seal off those, uh, those uh, tiny spaces or holes that are in that cloth. And this light sensitive liquid, when it is exposed under sunshine, it's where we see that uh, the, the, that liquid binds with a mesh to form a waterproof surface. Now, what, how do we make a screen using this tool? We get our motif, we turn it into uh, positives and negatives. The positives are black, the negatives are white. Now, when we place our motif on top of a frame that has got a mesh and a mesh that has been smeared on a uh, photo emulsion or a light sensitive liquid, in a dark room, we carry the tool, our design, and the frame, or our screen. When I call it a screen, I mean we have got the silk mesh uh, mounted or stretched on the wooden frame, and then we have our photo emulsion spread on the silk mesh. Now, after cutting the tool, then we get our design and put on top of the screen. Then we take the screen under sh sunshine and then the whole area that it has white will be burnt permanently. We shall see no water or anything going through those areas, apart from the areas that are in black. Just like you are seeing here in the, the images here. You can see that when you wash out the photo emulsion after you have exposed your screen and the motif and the sunshine, you realize that the shape, the shapes that are were on the motif will be burnt onto the screen, and you can wash them, wash the emulsion out, and have your screen ready for screen printing. Now. When you read here, you will see that this is a printing technique whereby a mesh uh, is used to transfer ink onto a cloth, wall, etc., except in areas made impermeable to the ink by the blocking substance. And that blocking substance is what we are calling emulsion or photo emulsion or a light sensitive liquid. Yes, then. Let us look at uh, the materials and the tools used in printing. The tools include, we have rollers, uh, wood, and chisels. These, we use them in log printing. We also have the squeegee, the mesh, the emulsion or the photo emulsion. These ones, we use them when you are going to do screen printing. Then, we also have the sponge, the stencil, and the cutters. Now, these ones, we use them when we are going to use stencil printing. Then, we also have a light table. Now, what is a light table? A light table is a table made of um, with a bit top made of glass, but underneath, underneath that glass, there is a light source.
Now, when you are printing, you switch on the light source and then you can see clearly through the cloth and you make your designs join very, very well. Then the materials. We have the printing paste, the printing ink, the dies, and the motif. Now, the motif, why do we call it a material? Because it is the one that is printed onto the fabric or the textile. So it remains part of the finished work. So it becomes a material. Now, here I have also left out the fabric itself. The fabric itself is a material because you need where you're going to print on. Yes, but it can also be a wall or the floor or the ceiling as the material. Then um, we, we have here what a motif is. And we're saying that a motif is a single unit that is used repeatedly to create a pattern or design. Now, when you are looking at any design, you realize that there is that one uh, uh, design that is being repeated many times to create the design. Now, that one unit that you see in a design is what we are calling a motif. It can, you can be asked to define a motif. You just say a motif is a single unit that is used repeatedly to create a design or a pattern. And if they ask you what is a design, you go ahead and say that a design is a combination of many motifs, as simple as that. Then, the steps follow to make a motif. One, you get a source of inspiration. You look around your soul, uh, around the, the environment around you, and you pick something that you are interested in drawing. And uh, you can pick from maybe trees, leaves, you can pick from animals. And then after you have picked what you want to draw, then go ahead and sketch it on paper. Then after you have sketched it on paper, go ahead and refine your drawing. Make your drawing look uh, simple and unique and straightforward. Not a drawing that has a lot of uh, unwanted areas. So you refine your drawing. And after you have refined your drawings, you go ahead and select what you are calling the positives and negatives. Now the positives are those areas that are dark and the negatives are those areas that are left white. Now, when you have selected them, now you can go ahead and cut out the positives using any technique of your choice. We have looked at the stencil, the screen, and the block. But here I can uh, suggest to you that uh, if you have made a design that has got um, big positives, you can use a stencil because in a stencil you are going just to cut out the positives and you remain with those different openings in your stencil. But if you have used small and intricate designs, it is better you go for screen printing because uh, it is the sun that burns the, the artwork onto the screen. It becomes easier for you to have your detailed um, inspiration out easily than when you have used a stencil or a block. Now, having known all that, I would expect you to ask some questions in the chat area and please go ahead and, uh, and comment, like and share. Uh, then we shall give you feedback immediately if you have questions. Uh, thank you for being uh, part of this lesson. Uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.